G'day folks and welcome back to the channel for episode number 12 of my last Epoch Warlock playthrough. Uh, last episode we did a decent amount of the Spirits of Fire timeline, so I think today we're going to finish it off and I think I will kill the boss today rather than saving it up to do all three of the level 90s together. I think I'm just going to kill it and, uh, and be on my way. Now, uh, in terms of difficulty, I'm not expecting a huge amount of difficulty from this boss. Uh, however, I wasn't expecting much from the Bone Dragon either, and I died several times to that. So we'll see if that's just a uh, uh, an issue with me playing while recording, or what it happens to be. Um, but for now, I think I want to head up here to these idols, and also, I like money. So I'm going to kind of go up that way. Uh, what is that? That's XP. XP is good. Um, so let's get into it. And like I mentioned in the previous episodes, we are going to be changing to Ward at some point once I get a few items for it. And uh, that should help a lot with the defenses. Um, okay, we are getting Weaver stacks on one of our rings as well. Grab that. Uh, what do we got on that, actually? Necrotic resist is good. Uh, the rest of that is not great. So we'll just clear through this, and what do we got? We found the guy. Okay. So we found the guy, and now we just have to go kill him, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, what do we got there? Percent health is actually not bad. What are we wearing? Oh. Wearing a considerably worse version of that, but that's fine. I like percent health, so we'll uh, go ahead and chuck that in. And it looks like... Oh, there they are. I was going to say it looks like they don't show you exactly which ones you got anymore, but uh, it turns out they do. Spellblade's katana. Probably not going to be great, but we'll have a look at it. Haste Shrine is good. I like haste. That does make it a little easier to kind of drop the rift and run, as it were. There we go. Shards complete, or echo complete rather. Let's just take this guy out, why not? And we will be on our way. Now, the whole point of this one was to get money, so show me the money, as it were. There we go. Get a little bit more from here as well, and no other items. What do we get on this? 34 spell damage is actually pretty good. Um, the fact that the base item doesn't have any, though, kind of kills it. So let's just do that. Um, I am sort of trying to collect money because I will be doing a little bit of respecking. And if I end up respecking any of the passives, well, passives cost, uh, cost money to respec, whereas with your skills, you pretty much just kind of take a point out and then you earn it back with XP. Uh, what was I doing? Inflict enemies with damned. Damned is good. I think this one. I think I actually respec this to get this one. Um, I hope that's what I was doing. <laughs> it's been too long in between. Right, let's have a look here. We get some XP and then the idols. Um, we're also getting very close to the timeline boss, so I think these two and then the boss, and then we'll move on to the next one. Or we'll go and have a look at some of our prophecies, because I have a decent amount of favor. And maybe we'll find something juicy and end up doing one of the dungeons. I've still only done the one of the dungeons, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, now I've got to remind myself not to look at items while I'm in combat, because it's going to kill me. Um, I'm actually very surprised it hasn't killed me already, but uh, it definitely will kill me eventually. It's just a matter of when. I keep fighting these guys. Now, um, this Warlock is actually decently tanky, um, I say as my health bar takes a bit of a dip, takes a massive dip, um, but compared to... Hang on a sec. Let's let's just 
kill this first and then we'll talk about how this is a really tanky build. <laughs> um, it's not super tanky by any means, but for a, a health build, um, it's actually got a decent amount. Is what I was trying to say. Uh, but once we swap to Ward, um, and assuming I can get the items for it, this will be considerably tankier. Um, we're talking like 30 to 50,000 Ward during combat. Which, um, I mean, honestly, if this doesn't get nerfed for the next season, um, something is wrong. If I'm if I'm stuck around sort of a three to four thousand life, but I can get fifty thousand ward relatively easily, um, and I think his name is the Curse, but uh, the guy who I got this build from, I don't know if he created it. I think he did, but um, if he can get sixty thousand ward relatively easily with what he calls kind of bad gear, then um, I'm sure you could get more with good gear and I think probably a hundred thousand is not completely out of the realms of possibility. Um, I did also manage to complete the rift while I wasn't watching so that might have been what was kicking my butt back there. I'd have to go back and watch. But uh, yeah something something was definitely doing some damage. All right what do we got? Why did you come up? Uh, bonus damage from crit strikes. Okay, how many of those do I have? I got 39 of them. Where is this one, I think? Yep, that's fine. Five selected. Where is my crit stuff? Crit strike avoidance. Okay. I think what I'm going to do... Hang on, what else? What else is on that? We've got movement, which I think I have tons of as well, and... I'm not sure why there's only one of health on that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this rule. And I'm going to go to the first one and actually remove crit strike avoidance from it. Um, and change that to tier 3. Uh, no, sorry. I want tier 1, but I want more or equal to tier 3 on these. And for the other one, this one here, I'm going to remove everything that isn't the crit avoidance, so the health and the movement speed. And I'm going to change the crit stuff, so that's all that's left. And I want more or equal to tier 5. That's a 6. Okay, so unless... The crit avoidance or uh, crit mitigation affixes are tier 5 or exalted. I don't want to see them because I have... Uh, what am I looking at? That button. You go away. Um, crit. So where are we? Crit strike. Avoidance. I have 26 of those. Um, and then reduce bonus damage from critical strikes. I have 38 of those. And then armor combined with reduced bonus damage from crits. I have 29 of those. So I don't really need to see those anymore. Uh, let's actually check as well for movement speed. I have 24 movement speeds, so honestly, um, I don't need huge amounts of those either. So if we just take movement off of here, actually, let's check the health first, because if I just... I have tons of health as well. 94 health, 23% um, health, and then where is the hybrid health? This one, I only have two. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the health on here. Um, or is this the crit strike one? That's crit strike. I'm going to actually put um, these health and move speed movement on the must be tier 5 or higher. Update that one. And then on this one, I'm going to leave just hybrid health. Because I always, always want to see hybrid health. The increased health, the added health, yeah, I'm kind of okay with not seeing that quite so much. Um, and I'm going to uncapitalize this as well, just so I can kind of tell that it's the lower priority one. 
All right, that should do us for now. Uh, let's see. Set or unique boots. Okay. Uh, we may be taking an extra echo before we do the boss. And by maybe, what I mean to say is we are. Because I want some new boots. Although, having said that, I don't think I really need them. These boots are decent. Um, and we're getting increased damage over time on this ring, which is pretty good, but I think I would prefer intelligence or necrotic resistance. Um, don't get me wrong, I'll take the other ones. I'll take the uh, damage over time. But it's not what I really want to prioritize. I want to stack intelligence and I want to stack necrotic resistance. Both of which will be useful after we do the swap as well. Um, swaddling of the something or other. And this is a bunch of health. Let's just get rid of those. Like I said, I'm going to get killed at some point from doing this. Remove that. Yeah, see it's dropping fire on me from the sky. Let's drop that. And we'll get rid of the big item. Um, this was a another weave as well. So melee damage to high health, spell damage to low health, attack and cast speed, all attributes. Um, 500 gold, thank you. All right, so we've got two flame spires to take care of. Let's just go get them. And one of the good things about this build is you can kind of just just keep walking and things will die behind you. Although in my case, I kind of run around in circles and things will die behind me. There they go. And I see a shrine here. That's haste. Lovely. My favorite shrine. Actually, it's not, but it's one of the good ones in my opinion. Okay, looks like this particular spire is a decent ways away. So, here we are. The weaver doing its thing again. Did we get a new affix? We did not. We've just got a bunch more damage over time. Alright, so now we've got a little bit of a slog uh, to get to the next spire. I think it's a decent ways away. That guy is huge, probably rampant. Um, here we go. Flame spire, let's stack up some spell damage, turn the ghosts on, and uh, set helmet. It's probably going to get sold. Plus one spirit plague, not really great, and then boots of deflection. Minion dodge rating, not amazing. Anyway, back to town. Okay, 7% ignite chance, plus 14 flat health. Um, that's not horrible, but it's also not very good either. What do we got here? Chance to gain ward with hungering souls. Ward per second during profane veil. Um... Got here. Chill with necrotic fear on hit. Ward when hit. Less dot taken. Probably not going to use most of these, but you never know. Maybe. Yeah, what was that? Chance to inflict plague on hit with minions. Okay, new. No. Um, I think I am going to just toss a lot of these. And I can't actually remember why I was keeping these gloves either. Physical resistance, health regen. Oh, for the, the ward item. The uh, the experimental prefix there. Um, I think I'm just going to shatter those. These ones have a ton of CDR. I don't think I can use them because I need the crit strike avoidance though. So maybe we just melt those. I don't really know why I picked those ones up. What have you got? Plus four to Chaos Bolts. Okay. Uh, this is 
kind of good. Having said that, four more points in Chaos Bolts, where would I spend them? Probably one in here. That leaves me three. I'd maybe get some more Ignite Chance. Um, or what else we got? Maybe Pandemonium. Um, yeah, probably three points in Pandemonium, one point in Condemned to Chaos. This is just um, increased area, which I guess is good. Or maybe I'd put one point here, deal more damage over time, equal to missing health. This is going to be pretty low value, but if I could get a point into the burn here, then um, that will actually increase the duration of fissures and infernal shades, which could be good. Um, this is all kind of meh. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hope that I get the level of Chaos Bolts. I didn't. Okay. I'm going to save this and I'm going to... Um, is that a tier 7? That is a tier 7. I'm going to melt that uh, slowly over time so I can get all four of those. Isadora's Revenge is technically, well not technically, is literally the two-piece bonus. Which is not actually horrible for a helmet. What would I lose here? 16 spell damage for curses is kind of a big deal. 20% elemental resist as well. I think I can't use that, but I will hang on to it. Um, stash tab 4. Jeez, what was all this for? I think this was my collection of things I was going to melt. That's 18 int. Alright, that's fine. And these I'm going to sell. This one I think I was keeping. Was I keeping that? I think I want the base. Got some other bases though. Maybe not. Alright. Yes. Let's get rid of some of these. Buy a couple more of these. Now we're going down in cash, which is not great. Um, this one, the forging potential is so low, but if I could get, I mean, all of this stuff, 104% <laughs> increased damage over time, elemental res, poison res, I, I want that on this, but I might have to wait. Let's have a look at these boots over here. Starting to run into the, the Shade of Oribus stuff here. Let's get the boots. Then we'll have a look at the boss. Um, actually, before we have a look at the boss, we'll go look at Prophecies. Just in case there's something juicy. What are we here for? Slay enemies, seal gate. Got it. Okay. The Weaver's doing Weaver things again. There's the gate. Let's start heading that way. There's a wall in the way. That's not good. Also thinking I might need to start filtering out some of the um, affixes, like the acolytes affixes that I'm not going to use. Um, I have looked at the quote unquote final build. I'm definitely going to do the self-ignite warlock, but um, I need to be able to do at least a tier 3 soulfire bastion to get the belt I need. Um, and I've never done soulfire bastion, so I don't really know how it works. But um, I know tier 3 is level 92 dungeon, so it should be kind of on par with the difficulty of these timelines, the last three timelines. So, we'll see. I might be able to do it. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Did I turn this on? I did. Good. Alright, so now I pretty much just run around in circles while I wait for my fisher to kill everything. Getting a lot of revenant masks, which... That's, that's actually 
a lot of helmets from this um, this particular thing. Uh, I'm guessing we've got another pair of the bear sets boots. Nope. Morning frost. Uh, freeze. Move speed. Cold attacks. Yeah, that's rubbish. Which is unfortunate. We also managed to pick up the Elico's Abandon, which is a rogue body armor, which uh, 500 gold up. Probably pick that up. Yes. Okay. So we sell those boots. We sell that. And let's have a look here. What do we got? Necrotic Resistance Intelligence. Okay, I think maybe we can do something good here. Let's just have a look. Spell Damage for Curses. We've got four of those. This has got 31 potential on it. Let's just see. Get that up to tier four. I've got no potential left. 16 spell damage for curses is the same as what I had there and we're shattering it so it's kind of a waste plus one to chaos bolts shatter that um, plus four level chaos four I guess it was tier four but it was only plus one yeah that makes sense percent health shatter that um, void resist so that's, that's kind of another thing I want to have less of. So if I have a look at, it's this one. This is, nope, this is just the Acolyte stuff. Show Exalted items with at least one of those. And I think I want Total Affix tiers of... Yeah, at least nine. Seems good. So, Exalted makes at least one of the affixes tier six already. So this probably actually doesn't do anything. Um, let's make that uh, any two of those. So then it'll stop showing up with every item that happens to have um, one of the affixes. Uh, right. That'll get us a few less items. Okay. We'll go have a look at prophecies. And then I'm going to do the boss, which I think is three goat shaman things. Which, I mean, my necromancer just kind of walked all over them because it was flame wraith necro and it's kind of broken. Um, idols. What do we got for idols here? Runes, actually, not idols. Arena keys. Small Lagoonian idols times 10 for killing immortal eyes in... Yeah, we'll pick that one up. Oh, and it re-rolls. I should have checked the other ones first. But this one, Soulfire Bastion. I'm going to pick that one up as well. And I'm not even going to look at anything else, just in case there's something really juicy that I want. And we're going to go back to the Spirits of Fire here. Now, neither of those prophecies is going to help with the boss. But uh, one of them will be just randomly killing the eyeballs. And uh, the other one will be in Soulfire Bastion, which I'll probably go do the tier one version of maybe after this. So let's see how many times I die to these annoying goat men. Assuming it's the boss fight, I think it is. Whoop. Yep, it definitely is. Okay, so maybe I just stop trying to cast Rip Blood. And I just kind of run around in circles and wait for the... Uh, wait for these guys to die. Because, honestly, I'm pretty sure if I just keep moving, I'm not going to say they can't hit me, but there's kind of much less chance of it happening. Maybe don't run into the fire, though. <laughs> and I think this is just going to be a waiting game. Because I am getting hit, but also I'm, I think I'm leeching enough from... 
just having the fisher out that probably doesn't matter. So they're getting low, yeah. I, re I definitely remember this being a complete cakewalk with the uh, the pet necro, the flame wreath necro. I just, I literally just summon them and then walk around in circles for that too. Um, okay, that kind of hurt a bit. That's right, they get empowered as you kill them. Um, turns out it doesn't matter. What do we got? We got fire resistance. We've got armor while channeling. And we have fire damage. Well, I guess I'll take... Will I take the armor while channeling? None of these are particularly good. Do technically do fire damage, so we'll take that. None, none of those three were actually any good. So we got Lugi's Hunger Heal. Fire Crit Strike. Fire Damage Leech does health if you crit. Minion Crit Strike. Plus two Fire Minion. Okay, that's not great. And we have Herkia's Vessel, which is another fire damage kind of thing. So yeah, I don't really care about that one either. Um, as far as this goes, uh, I definitely want to hang on to that one. Because we will be getting Profane Veil. So increasing the duration on that and also getting some ward on kill is all good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go do Soulfire Bastion. Assuming I can get in, uh, just so as I can kind of have a look at it before I start farming it. Um, I guess I need to go back down here to the end of time. And need to go into the bank, grab a key. Soul Fire Bastion is... actually I've got tons of keys for that. Okay. All right, Soulfire Bastion. So, uh, the felled wood, and it looks like we're gonna have to travel from the Risen Lake. So I remember when I walked past this Risen Lake door the first time, um, I remember I kind of said, hey, what's that? Where does that go? Oh, wait, that's not the way I want to go. Ignored. But uh, it is the way I want to go now. So let's head on over this way. And it should be this one. The ruins of Etendel. That is not where I want to go. Um, I actually get the feeling I'm going... Going backwards. Pretty sure it's going to be up this way then. I guess that's one good thing about the maps being set for these kind of areas is you know where you're kind of going, I guess. <laughs> I'm not super familiar with it yet, but uh, I definitely will be. Weird that there's still little areas occasionally where the map is filled out, even though I haven't been there. Okay, and let's just keep everybody out of the town. Never mind, they're already in the town. Okay, and I can head up this way. And now, I think once I get out of the town, should see the door. See, here's another area that's already filled in. That I'm 99% sure that I have not been here recently, and that's going to be my door. Yep, the felled wood. Lovely. So this is the first time I've ever been into the felled wood. I've never been in here, I don't know what to expect, although, to be fair, I'm kind of not expecting much. I'm just going to follow the road and kind of see what happens. There's a waypoint, grab that. Okay, and keep following the road. Uh, this is area level 25, okay, I don't need to kill anything then. Uh, where did my road go? There's a shrine, maybe that'll be haste. Let's get a couple of beetles. So the downside of me never having been here, but also having this area be a set map, is there's probably several of you who are watching this 
screaming at me I'm going the wrong way. Although I do, do see the door there, I'm pretty sure that's the only one. So I think I found it, but uh, definitely not via knowing where I'm going. Okay, so, Soulfire Bastion. Okay, someone needs to speak with me. Ah, a living so far from one of the cities. Be at ease. I have no desire to fight you. Even if I did, my friend running the Soulfire Bastion here. Tremorous is particularly sensitive about this. You'd put a smile on my face if we undead weren't always grinning. Simply put, Tremorous has been experimenting with a new form of soul magic in there. Okay. Fortunately for Tremorous, my patron would not be very pleased by his success. And I happen to have met a living adventurer. So what do you say? Barge in there in the name of the living. Wreck up the... Now I even sweeten the deal a little. <laughs> Okay. I knew you living. All right. The I uh. A bit, I mean, he keeps an inferno stocked in that place. Not burn one of those soul embers up, and you may be able to protect yourself from the fires in there. Oh, you're not the first living I've made this deal with. Here's the hope. Oh, okay. All right. Um. So place. I'm guessing there's going to be another Soul mechanic here. Soul fire bastion. Chuck the key in, and let's go. I'm assuming I have to do the first tier before I can do the second tier, so I'm going to have to do this at least a couple of times. Alright, so fire on the floor. D here, soul fire shield. Let's see. If I just stand on that, do I start taking damage? Yes, so if I press D... Okay, I've only got five of those now. Okay, red shield protects against fire. Right. Hopefully I won't have to swap too many times. Uh, let's see what's over here on the side. Ah, uh, that's a big fat nothing. There we go, we got some fire damage on the floor. A couple of shards, not too bad. Alright, and this is area level 45, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, yep, we are protected from fire. Something to talk to up there, it's probably... Notes. Notes of some kind. Alright, what item is that? That is a level 29. I guess the filter should do it. What's in the letter? Confirmed my suspicions. Despite your quite the contrary. Though I, yeah, I don't think I care anymore. You would be foolish enough to think so. The remains of Solara's war machines so far from home. Right, so what am I looking for in here? Um search for the fire lich, okay. Um hopefully that's not gonna fall on my head. Searching for the fire lich. Cast Soulfire Shield to toggle your immunity. Search for the Fire Lich again. Okay, it's just the same thing. Alright, let's see how we go for finding the, the Lich. It seems like the Lich is kind of the, uh, the only objective in here, so... Death will not take me. We can just kind of walk around. Now, usually it's just walk north and you'll find what you're looking for. And we'll see if that's still the case in here. Although, having said that, I haven't had to swap to... Oh, hang on, small. Almost max roll on that suffix, and decent on the mana as well. I'll grab that. Um... I haven't had to use the necrotic shield yet, so I'm guessing there's going to be at least one more area. May as well kill him, see if he's got anything good. He does not have anything good. So these things aren't really doing much at all in the way of damage. I'm sure there'll be something in here that 
basically one shots me at some point though. Take care of him. Oh, here we are. We've got quest markers on the map. So I was probably almost there actually, just looking at where they are. Over this way somewhere. Let's just see if anyone wants to follow me through all that. Okay, can't go that way, which is unfortunate. That's all right, we'll go around. I wonder if at the uh, the higher tier, say like tier 4 version of this dungeon, I wonder if the necrotic and uh, fire damage stuff on the floor just kills you. Just like, it's not damage over time anymore, it's your entire health bar or your entire health ball in one shot. Not sure. Um, new modifier, enemy damage, enemy health. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go down. So I'm guessing this is where I swapped to necrotic. And then after this, it's probably going to be the boss with... Well, I've only got 195 soul embers, so... I don't know, I might run a bit short. Soul fire keep. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. So we are actually in the right area. I had this really awful feeling that that door that I went through before had taken me right back to the start, and then I had just gone into the same area again. That's alright though, it's not what happened, so we're all good. Okay, so again I'm looking for the exit. Can I get over that? Nope. This forge is, is not very good. I'm making way too many mistakes. Look at this. Look at this. Lava everywhere. Or you know, molten metal. Doors blocked. Doors blocked. Okay. Where are we going? That's all blocked off. Um, that's blocked off. You know what? I guess I'll go left. I'll keep killing stuff and eventually they'll point me towards where I need to be. Ah, uh, this is a lot of res though. Can I look at my prophecies? Because I have a really bad feeling. I really don't want the Prophecy to complete in a level 45 area. Uh, so... Prophecies... Kill the Fire Lich Kramers. Okay, well... Oh no, it needs at least tier 3. Okay, that's good. That's good. And this one has to happen in a monolith. And this one is in progress. Alright, good. Good, good, good. I was worried I was going to end up with level 45 loot. Okay, no arrows as of yet. I'm guessing it's going to be over there on the right. It was before and it's kind of the same direction on the world map, so maybe we just have to go sort of back down this way to get around it. Maybe down, down here. Oh, where did he go? Definitely want a Glyph of Chaos. I want as many of those as I can get my grubby little mitts on. Alright, there's my markers on the map. So it turns out we're heading north. What do you got? Experience? Well... I won't say it's worthless, but uh, it's kind of worthless. Alright, let's... Oh, that's blocked, that's not good. Seems like most of the dungeons have kind of two doors to go through. So I'm guessing it's not just as simple as, you know, find the first one and go through that. Yeah, there's two different spots there. Which seems to suggest 30% um, increase enemy damage, 30% increase health. 
Each non-exalted affix on an exalted item, 20% chance to roll. You guys mind? I'm busy. If you don't mind, please do. Uh, 20% chance to roll twice within its range and pick the higher value. Okay, that actually doesn't sound so bad. Let's go see what the other door says, and I think if it's just minor bonuses, I'll probably just go through that door. But thinking it's probably going to be a different bonus, otherwise why have two doors? Yeah, 40%, so they get more damage. And uniques have at least one legendary potential. Let's let's go through there. It's a little bit more damage, a little bit more health. It'll be fine. We're guaranteed one legendary potential. Alright, what are you? Something is wrong with the test subjects reactors expected when exposed to the soul emblems. At for a minor setback, nothing more. Until I devise a means to better stabilize the soul. Before you dare to gloat over this, do not forget the trouble your pets in the north gave you before you brought them to heal. This will be nothing compared to that embarrassment. Alright, here we go, boss time. Now, um, fire's fine, necrotic's fine. Um, yeah, I guess we just go kill him. Come to play with fire. Indeed I have. Uh, so what, I'm immune to fire at the moment? I guess it doesn't matter, he's kind of squishy. He should just die now, I think. You're supposed to be dying, mate. There we go. So, Ashes of Mortality. Alright, what do we got here? Chance on hit to gain 2 ward per ignite and damned on the target, and 30 ward per ignite and damned on you. Cast speed, ward retention, fire and necrotic damage. That's not horrible, that kind of fits with the theme of the build, but probably not going to use it. Um, I just want the Chaos Bolts. There we go. Okay, uh, search for the Fire Lich. I already killed him. Hey, fancy a deer. Sure, why not? Fantastic work. Formosus will clatter with delight when I give him my report. Okay, so... Soul embers. Care to let me see your whole friend? From what I know, these can't be unique. Uh, but he didn't. No, they must be. They must be able to. Maybe this is just a different type of gambling. Um, how much is that going to cost me? 75 soul embers. Well, I've got 400, so why not? Formosus will clatter with delight when I give him my report. Yeah, how about those soul embers? Okay, elemental damage. Care to let me see your whole friend? Rare item. Mm -hmm. Elemental. That's got five affixes on it, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, yeah, you can keep that one. Um, how about armor, actually? Let's see. 55 a shot. We've got exalted. I haven't seen any uniques. Exalted again. Well spent. Ward on kill, okay. Another exalted. Embers well spent. 101 health, plus 4 int. Okay. Rare, that's not great. Mm, nice one. Um. Let's see here, I don't think I need relics. Uh, how's my amulet? Amulet's pretty good. That might just kind of be... All I'm gonna get. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, I think I'm out of. Uh... Hang on. Do I want the health? I do kind of want the health. Give me that back, and give me that back. And I think you can just keep the rest of that stuff. All right. So shatter. Yep. 
Yep. That'll do us. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> um, here we go. Uniques from the Soul Gambler. So that he must be able to give you a unique. They're just... Um... Oh, it's only 10% increase. Okay, I thought it was going to be guaranteed. I must have read that wrong. And rare items have a random sealed affix. Okay. That's fine. Let's um, head back to the end of time. I'll probably do uh, tier 2 of that dungeon off screen and just kind of get it done so I have access to the tier 3. And uh, I might do the tier 3 beginning of next episode, perhaps. In the meantime, let's head back to our level 90 monoliths and let's see if we can't get the empowered monolith unlocked. Uh, although that's definitely not going to be a today thing. Right, what do we got on this particular monolith? I guess I'll take the money, although runes is also quite good. Let's go runes, why not? Money drops in every echo, although runes kind of drop in every echo as well. So it's probably not a big deal either way. Okay, we've got void stuff, which is good. Um... Actually, I don't want Void stuff, I want the Imperial stuff, the Undead. I want Necrotic. Uh, because I have that prophecy to kill six of the eyeballs. So, it's definitely going to happen at some point, but I'd rather it happen sooner rather than later. Uh, what do we got? XP Shrine? I'll take that, no problems. And we have to slay Orishan the Rampant. Or Orichian. We'll just kind of walk over there. How is my void res? 1% over cap, so hopefully I don't get shredded. Be quite unfortunate. And I guess I should probably pick up some of this gold at least. Definitely filtering out a lot of items that I could be using. Which I guess is not entirely bad. There we go. Got an exalted temple staff there. Melee cold damage. Yeah, you go ahead and keep that one, buddy. Okay, here is an exalted mage, or an exiled mage rather, which I do have a prophecy for. So that's uh, prophecy complete. Collector exalted amulet times three. So I'm guessing that's one, two, and three. Glyphs, and we may as well uh, leave that on the floor. That's rubbish. Uh, how are my amulets? So none of them have the base I want. So just looking at impl implicits, we've got throwing and melee attack speed, which is worthless. Freeze rate multiplier and cold res, which is low value. And we've got minion damage and crit strike chance, which is worthless. So uh, congratulations me. Successfully found three worthless amulets. Now the only one here I actually want is the chance to shred armor. Which it looks like I'm not going to get. So we'll just uh, shatter these. Maybe go back to town so I don't end up getting killed while I'm messing around with it. And let's have a look at our favor as well. Maybe I can go get another one. 2095 favor. I think I can maybe go get another one. What are you? Plus two to Infernal Shade. Ward per second, Poison Resistance, Necrotic Res. Now why are you showing up? You're a tier five, that's why. Okay, let's go check out... Um, got all that, yep, good. Um, duh, 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 visit Observatory. Let's go see if we can find another prophecy for something good. Maybe we can get some unique helmet prophecy or something like that. Um, it's idols. Let's go check out the armor prophecies. What do we got? Um, rare boots, unique armor, unique armor, unique gloves, unique gloves. I do kind of want unique gloves. The chamber of vessels. Okay, 
So that's... I would have to do a lot more of the uh, the storyline to get that one. Temporal Sanctum. Two unique gloves. I'm going to buy that. And then I don't think I'm going to be able to afford another one. What is this one? Eight rare Crusader gloves. We'll leave that. Um, so that gives me Temporal Sanctum, Sulfire Bastion Tier 3, and any Monolith. So let's just go back to our Monolith. Um, and we're going to do the Hero at 1 last, I think. Okay, what did we what did we uncover down here? We've got XP, we've got rare rings. If we just go for the terms of XP, honestly. Okay, slay the patrolling void horror. Um, let's just go around this way. All right, we've got the void again, which. It's not great. We're not going to get the uh, not going to get the eyeballs that I need to kill for that prophecy in a void area, but it kind of is what it is. Echo conquered. I kind of get the feeling that the entire echo, the entire timeline, is going to be void stuff. I think that sounds right. Um, what, do, what does this actually say here? The last ruin. And we don't have enough stability to see what that is. That's fine. Um, I think we take the rings and then we charge this bad boy up and just kind of see what's going on. Maybe we can find something nice to kind of work towards while we get the stability for the boss. Okay, yeah, it's still all void stuff, so I'm going to suggest that the entire timeline is just void stuff, which does make sense. Uh, what are you? Fire, lightning, cold res, chance to shock, void damage, cold damage. You can stay on the floor, I think. Uh, and this is just a kill enemies one, so let's go for a wonder, shall we? Uh, probably not in this one, you're right, but, you know, don't get cocky. Alright, this one is actually a decent walk. Nearly there. Who are we killing? Ultra Ek, the survivor. I'm guessing it's him. Well, not guessing. I know it's him. He's pulsing on the map, so it's got to be him. Down he goes. A measly 700 gold. Um, and I guess there is also... I'm going to melt that one. Necrotic damage. I'll, I'll melt that. Okay, is that supposed to be... Oh, that's rings. Uh, what do we got for bases? There's the ivory ring, which I like. Increased damage over time, intelligence, and lightning res. It's not amazing. Necrotic damage. Um, so... Ah, no. We'll just leave that. That's fine. What do we got here? Dodge rating. That's hybrid health. Oh, I got, I got one of these, so one shot. Yay, got it. Alright, throw that on the floor. 13 health, 6 mana. Do I have something like that on here somewhere? I do. So that one is just straight up better. But I'm going to keep this one. Right. Yes. Get a couple of shattering runes. Just don't want my money to get out of control. There doesn't appear to be any point to hoard tons of it in the Circle of Fortune. Um, I may have to go back and do a couple of lower level um, echoes. 
to get a few of those eyeballs. Because once again we're in void area, so I feel confident in saying that this entire timeline is going to be void stuff. Although we're getting some sea creatures as well. Uh, what are we doing? Kill stuff to find the beacon, charge the beacon. Right. Alright, so that's our beacon. Why does this stuff feel like it's dying really easily? I mean, I don't know that it is, but it feels like it is. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I mean, I'm not complaining for sure, but it is a little bit weird. Yep, that's that's definitely not the way, as the kids say. That that is definitely how we kill stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking even even Wandering Spirits might not be worth the energy or, or uh, mana required to cast it. Okay, Water Shrine. Uh, I guess I should turn this on, actually. And keep using Transplant just for the Bone Armor. Probably not a horrible idea. All right, and now we just kind of walk around in circles. Wait for everything to die, and uh, yeah, rubs your father's brother. Last wave? Nope, still going. Surely this is the last wave, surely. There we go. That's everything. Got any loot for me? I'm going to take that as a no, and I'm going to be on my way. Let's have a quick look at this, and then I think I might head back to the previous timeline just to get that um, prophecy fulfilled. Uh, set item... That is, that is definitely, definitely very mid. Okay, so I want Undead, which I think is going to be Reign of Dragons, level 85. It's not too far below, or not too far above. Also, I wouldn't mind another crack at the boss in this area, but I don't think I'll need that many echoes to get what I want here, so let's just do that one. We'll grab, grab some glyphs. I'm here for the eyeballs more than anything else. Just get that prophecy done. Pretty sure you gain favor when you kill things rather than when you complete prophecies, but it could be a combination of the both. So pretty sure you gain favor for killing things and for spending favor no you gain xp you gain this shit whatever this is reputation that's the one. you gain reputation for killing things let's try that again <laughs> you gain favor for killing things you gain reputation for spending favor there we go got there in the end at least that's how it seems like it works um, i definitely need to do a little bit more research into it and uh, I just want to take this this opportunity to just ask, uh, where are my eyeballs? I mean, I know they're in my head, but not those eyeballs. This guy right here. Does it show one out of however many? It doesn't. Okay. So I just have to keep killing them and hope I notice when it triggers. It's two and three. Health on melee hits. 
Scepter of Stillness, uh, stun chance. No. Oh, that's a big boy. Alright, we'll just keep walking through. I'm not really too fussed about the objective in this one. Uh, my objective is to kill eyeballs, not necessarily to finish the echo. I think once I've got my floating eyeballs dead, I'll probably just leave. But I gotta find them first. You guys are not it. Here's one. So this is gonna be four. Yep, that's four. What am I getting out of this? Idols, okay. So four. Need two more. What are you, mana fused? Exalted Fizz Res is not horrible. I'll take that one, I'm just gonna melt it though. Same with this one. Actually, that was something there. Uh, where is it? Mana gained on harvest use. So if you're still having issues with mana, you could maybe spec into this, use that, and uh, get some mana back that way. Although 11 mana, 2% of the time, probably, probably not great. Haste. Okay, good. You can uh, cover a little more ground now. Y'all got any more of them eyeball things? There's one. I've lost count. I think this is number five. He didn't drop anything. He didn't complete, so I need one more. This is the map boss, isn't it? Yep. What do we got here? Uh, exalted strength. Why not? I'm literally never going to use that, but you never know. Might be good. Okay, any more eyeballs down here? I just need one more, you guys. Just one. Can you, like, make one for me? Gonna guess that's a no. Here we go. Boom. There's, uh... Am I killing the wrong thing? Deaths of Immortal Eye in a monolith. Did I count wrong? Bring them to me. Maybe I counted wrong. Or maybe I'm killing the wrong... Uh, the wrong monster. Uh, I don't think there's any left here. This bar is full. I'm pretty sure I killed... I doubt I killed everything, but I think I killed most of it. Okay, two more items. What do you got? Critical strike chance, critical strike multiplier, five to all attributes. That's actually pretty good. Melee cold damage. Why did I pick that up? All right, sure, shatter. What do we got? Intelligence, freeze, yeah, sure, why not? There we go. Alright. Yes. Just buy them out of shadow runes again. I'll try one more of these. Um Maybe I'll try two more of these. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for eyeballs, and I'm going to check the name of the eyeballs. Immortal Eye. Okay. Uh, this is not undead. Okay, what do I need to do? Kill stuff, find the gate, close the gate. Got it. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, so it's going to be at least one more. I guess I was going to do another one anyway. 
want that unique item. How many more of these things do I need to kill? Am I getting ambushed? Is that what's going on here? I think I've killed enough that it probably should have told me where the gate was by now. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm getting ambushed. Never mind. I'm not. <laughs> we got Shrine of the Frozen Hive. Sure, I'll take some cold bugs. Getting close here. Here we go. Let's just turn it on. Blow everything up. And uh, get out of here. Did pick up another level there at some point. So pretty happy about that. Okay, getting another wave. And we are done. Right. Let's have a quick look at these exalted items here. Chance of shock on hit. I'm no longer interested. Okay, I think I just need one more eyeball. Or I need to figure out which eyeballs that it wants. Maybe there's... Is there a level requirement? Deaths of Immortal Eye. Holding controller shift doesn't do anything. And I was going for these, so get some more health, get to Crippling Insight. And we'll be all good. Alright, um, oh, come on. Now I'm going to have to do two, three, four. <laughs> Alright, so if I kill one more eyeball, I should be done. Assuming it's not, you have to kill six of them in one echo. Um, looking like they're not going to be in this one either. Which, I won't lie, I'm a little bit salty about. Physical damage. Not sure why I can see that at all, actually. Uh, right, Slay Prairie to Tyrannus. Most likely going to be a little bit of a walk to get to him. Notice sometimes you get really short instances, and sometimes you get pretty long ones, but they tend to average out about the same. This one looks like it's a long one. So, I'm thinking the next character I make is not going to be a dot build, because I'm kind of getting tired of having to run backwards to pick up all the loot. Should be enough to kill him. Yep, there he goes. Acolyte's crown of whatever. Uh, speaking of, do I have any... Well, let's have a look at our unique first. A Scepter, Hazel Root. One spell, physical damage per three, attunement. Um, yep, that's 500 gold. Now, I had... This one here, I don't have the correct runes, so... Shatter, what do you got? Plus one to Death Seal. Kind of starting to wish this was a Lich, actually. Um, tier 1, Tier 3, Tier 4. Yeah. Got all of the health things. I think I'm just going to sell all of these. I don't expect I'm going to use any of them. I'm not really doing fire damage, even though we kind of have some fire damage. Um, that's a unique as well. I think I'm going to go for the idols. And after this, I might just give up. <laughs> Come back and... I know the, um, the Black Sun timeline will be the first one I need to do. So, I think after this, I just I give up. Let's get these idols. Uh, oh, we're doing an ambush. All right. 
we'll get these idols and then uh, head back to the higher level, the level 90 uh, timeline. Here's my ambush, and everybody's dead. Alright, we just dodge the ice circles, and we should be fine. No, no, no. Dodge the ice circles, not stand in the ice circles. Now, they're very similar, but that's not what I said. There we go. Echo conquered. What are you? I'll pick that up. Sure, why not? Right. I really shouldn't be picking up the ones that are filtered out. They're filtered out for a reason. <laughs> Can we turn those purple beams off? What does it actually have on it? Increased damage over time for minions. Right. If that isn't rubbish, I don't know what is. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, ward on kill, chance for mark on death. No. Spell damage for curses is actually quite good. Spell damage while at low health. Uh, that could be very nice. Nope. Bleed on hit, no. Health on kill, no. Skeleton stuff, no. Or of decay, no. Okay, so this one I think is going to be quite good. Um, 48% increase. Eh, it's, it's kind of mid, actually, now that I'm looking at it again. Uh, but that's fine. Ward per second while channeling Ghost Flame. And increase CDR with Transplant. Okay. I'm kind of curious. If I just chuck that in there, and then I change this back to Ghost Flame, how much ward do I get now? I run out of energy before I get to 600. So the answer is not enough. I'll hang on to it for now because, you know, I like hanging on to stuff for now and then selling them later. Um, plus 10. You know what? That's better than this already. So this one is cooldown recovery with transplant, which is useful, but plus 10 is considerably better than plus 4. All right, let's head back to the... Uh, the last rune. And I think I'll do a couple more monoliths and then we'll call that an episode. So let's see what's available. I seem to remember this being kind of mid. Um, set items are... they're not great, hey. They really need to do something with set items. There's practically none of them that I'm interested in. Um, at least of the ones I've seen so far. Maybe there are some good ones and I just haven't seen them. Okay, we've got Void stuff again, which is nice. Uh, what am I doing? Patrollers, okay. Ooh, XP Shrine. I like the XP Shrines. And here's my first patroller. Okay, there we go. Mighty of insulation. I'm guessing that's lightning res and strength. Strength and freeze stuff. Okay. Um T6 strength I'm not super amazed by. None of the others are super high level, so... Oh, I got all the strength shards anyway. Lovely. Alright, um, commanders is minion stuff. That's actually a decent amount of health. So, we'll grab that one. Alright. Here's my last patroller. Get out of that, charge up some extra spell damage. Boom goes the dynamite, and Echo conquered. I swear I pushed the portal button and nothing happened. Alright, I think this was XP, wasn't it? Yep. More XP, more better. Um, and I'll grab those shots as well. Why not? 
Uh, what else we got? I mean, I guess I could go check the set. Why not? We'll go have a look at the set. Maybe there's something I haven't seen yet. Maybe I'll get the third piece of Isadora's set and it might be worth putting on. We'll see. I, mean, I don't actually know what the third piece of Isadora's set is. I know it's a mask and a belt, but beyond that, no idea. Alright, so kill stuff to find the gate. Do that. Alright, this... These things. Okay, okay. Still got marked for death on me, which I'm hoping is a graphical glitch and not actually something that I can't get rid of. Oh, that's a big boy. Consumed Grawl of Rampancy, that's why. I'm starting to think I might be about to get ambushed here. Pyromancers of Frost. Okay, so I've got... I've got fire damage on that. Right. So, this is... Show Exalted with 30 different affixes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna regret going into this right now, but I'm doing it anyway. Where is damage type? Let's turn fire off. Update. Gone. Yeah, I'm I'm almost certain I'm getting ambushed. There's a nice new key. Hey, there's my ambush. How very rude. And done. Beautiful. What do you got on you? Physical resistance. Sure, why not? That's a lot of health, some necrotic. Yep, that's all good stuff. Done. Alright, we'll see what this set item is. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully there's like set things that I just haven't seen yet. And it's it's there's gotta be some good set items, right? I mean, the fact that I haven't seen a single build planner ever for uh, for any character that has a set item on it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Actually, I lie. I did see one forge guard that was using a uh, two-piece set or two pieces of a set, like the chest and I think the helmet, for like for a ton of armor, which, which could be alright. Uh, what are we doing? Void amalgamation. Kill stuff to find a boss. Got it. Okay, there's my boss. Let's just go up and around here. Here we go. It's actually pretty close this time. Which is surprising, but welcome. And also, it helps if you put the fissure down, so you can actually leech enough life to not immediately die. So I think, I think the go-to is... Unseeing of haste. Are you the eyeballs I need to kill? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Anyway, we put down one of those. Then we charge up the rip blood. And then we can replace it, and it just doesn't really matter. So, that's a thing, I guess. Okay, let's have a look at our set item. See how we go here. And bingo, bango, bongo, we have a dagger. Ferrobor's chisel. Totems. Totems, totems, rubbish. 
I don't know if that's actually good. That might be good for a totem set. And it's a two set, so maybe the second is like a ring or something and the set is good. I'm not sure. Plus two to all totem skills seems like it might be good. Yes. Um, for me, this is this is 500 gold. It's a quarter of a shattering rune. Now, I still don't have these immortal eyes. So I'm just going to... Just gonna pretend I don't have this one and see when it finishes itself. Um, but that's gonna be it for this episode, so thank you all very much for watching. See you in the next one, and goodbye for now.